All right, so I'm going to go through the quiz, the FCM 709 quiz that we're having this week on heaps. So the question, both questions are about heaps. So remember what a heap is. It's a lot like a binary tree. Every parent in the heap has a key or a little number associated with it that is greater than or equal to the keys of its children. So that's the only rule for making a heap. It's technically a max heap because it goes from big to small. The root is the biggest. If the root is the smallest, then you get a min heap. So since that's not really essentially different, we're just going to talk about max heaps. So look at uh, the... well, before we get to the first question, just read this setup. It says, suppose the array um, and then it gives an array, all right, um, is the result of the following code. So this this value length is is set to be 10, and then we create an integer array of, of length 10. Okay, so there are 10 slots, you know, that have indices that go from 0 to 9. So this is, this is slot 0, and then we have slot 1, and they go all the way up to slot 9, so there are 10 of them. But into the into the zero with when we put infinity, that's why you can you can see infinity here in this picture. Okay, that's because um, when you work with heaps, it's nice to be able to use the scheme that uh, the parent of the node indexed in slot i here. So let's say this is i. It should be uh, the floor of i divided by two. So remember that the floor just means rounding down. So um, let's just work this out for this one in particular. So it goes one, two, three, four. So two here is actually the fourth one. So the parent of the node whose key is, uh, is two and whose index is four should be the node whose index is the floor of four divided by two. So floor doesn't do anything to a whole number. So this is the same thing as the floor of two, which is just two again. Okay, so look at the one in the second slot, zero, uh, sorry, one, two. All right, so the, the node with key six is the parent of two. And in fact, um, two is the left child of six because remember to get the left child, you double, right? So I should say that, huh? So the left child of the node whose index is i is the node whose index is 2 times i. So notice that, that works out here, right? Because the index of 6 is 2, and so according to the scheme, the left child of the node whose index is 2 should be the node whose index is 4, because it's just doubled. And then remember also the way the way the right child works. So the right child of the node with index i is supposed to be 2i plus 1, or is supposed to be the node whose index in the array is 2i plus 1. All right, so if we, if we keep working with 6 here, then it should be the case that the left child of 6, or sorry, the right child of 6 is the one in the slot, uh, in this slot, because it's going to be, for one thing, one more than the last one, right? Because the other one was 2i, and this one's 2i plus 1. But just to check another another way, it should be uh, the index here doubled and then with 1 added. So we should check that this is actually the fifth slot, which it will be, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, so everything works out. Okay, so that that's the end of, of the review of how this stuff works. So now let's think about answering the first question. The first question says, draw a picture of the binary heap corresponding to A. Right, so the array, you know, in, in the way, in just the way that we were just talking about, represents represents a binary heap, and so now we want to give the, the binary tree picture that corresponds to that array. All right, so I need, I need a place to do it. So let me pick something that you can see. All right. So it starts at 1, right, because 1 is in the first slot. And then the left child of 1 is 6. Okay, and if you want a way to draw this picture with as little thinking as possible, you can just remember that the order in which you go through the tree is 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven. You know what I mean? So um, I can fill these, like you can do the arithmetic if you want, right? Like so, so the right child of, of one should be the, the key that's in slot uh, two times one plus one is the value in slot three, which is three. Uh, but what I'm trying to, to say with this picture is that you can just fill it in if you go in this order. Uh, just read it right off. So um, the next one is going to be 2 and 10 and then 3 and then 16. Now let me catch up a little bit here. So this is going to be the left child of 6. This is going to be the right child of 6. This is going to be the left child of 3. This is going to be the right child of 3. Okay, so I stopped at 16. So after 16 comes 19. And then after 19 comes 4. Okay. All right, and this is all there this is all there was to question 1. It says draw a picture of the binary heap corresponding to the array A. And so what what was wanted is is this picture of this binary tree. Okay. So 1 is done. So let's take a, a look at uh, the second question. I'm going to push this stuff out of the way here. Okay. So it says, uh, use a series of pictures to show the effect of running build max heap on A. So notice that A, the way it is uh, right now, is not a heap because several places the parent is smaller than the child. And so that's against the rules for a max heap. And what the what the routine build max heap does is it takes the array or the binary tree, depending on how you're thinking of it, and it transforms it into a heap. So a binary tree that, that satisfies the heap property, which is the parent is always bigger than or equal to the child. And just to remind you a little bit how that works, I, I pasted the, the code for build heap in. Um, so remember the heap size is is the the largest the largest index in the array that's actually used to represent an element of the heap. Um, so here we're we're using everything. Okay, so so heap size is this. It's it's uh, the index of this slot, and it's easy to check that the index of this slot is nine. And notice that that is length minus one if you if you use this length ten. All right, so heap size is nine. And then what happens on the next line? It says for int i equals heap size over two. Okay, so since I'm using integers in C++, it, it takes floor automatically, right? An integer can't have a decimal part or a non-zero decimal part. And so um, I, take, I take nine and divide it by two, right? So nine divided by two is 4.5. And then the floor of that which C++ does automatically is just the integer 4. All right, so i is going to start at 4, and then we're going to go while i is greater than 0. So we're going to go, I, you know, i is going to be 4, and then 3, and then 2, and then 1, and then, and then it'll be over, right? This is just saying that, that i uh, decrements every time through. And what happens inside the loop is it calls this routine max heapify. So we talked about that in class. I'm not going to give the code for it, but I'm going to do it enough times that, that I hope I will jog your memory and remind you. If you want to take a quick look at Wikipedia and see the definition, um, you could look up you could look up a heap. Um, all right, but I, I think we'll do it enough times that you'll get the idea. I just lost my thing. Uh, where did it go? Sorry. There it is. Okay, so so let's get started. So let's just follow the algorithm or this little program here. So it says uh, run max heapify on i. And like we were, we were just saying, the first thing that i is is 4. Okay. So 4 means the fourth index. So let's go back up to the array here. So 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. So the, the thing that's in the fourth slot is 2. Okay. So here's this 2. All right, so we need to run max heapify right here. And let me remind you, max heapify, remember what it does is it assumes that 
the left subtree is a heap, and it assumes that the right subtree is a heap, and that's true in this case because both the left subtree and the right subtree are, are trivial, they just have one node in them. And what it does is it swaps this key with the key of its biggest child, right, which in this case is 19, so it's going to swap 2 and 19, and then it's recursive, it calls itself on uh, the node that the parent got swapped to, if the parent got swapped at all, okay? So in this case we are going to swap 2 and 19 and then max heap will call itself again here but since this node has no children there's nothing there's nothing to do. So the effect of this first time through the loop is to make the tree look like this. So we still have one, most of it is exactly the same. Here's 6, here's 3. We're not changing any of this stuff. There's another 3 down here and here's a 16. Okay, and so now what's happened is that 2 has swapped with 19. So now there's 19 here, and 2 where 19 used to be, and now this is still 4, and there's still a 10 right here. Okay, great. So now we're just going through the repeat loop again, right? So 4 is done, now we look at 3, okay? So we go back up to the array and we see what's going on in index 3. So by a coincidence, um, 3 is in index 3, right? It goes 1, 6, 1, 2, 3, so it's 3, all right? So which 3 is it? It's the 3 that is the uh, right child of 1, right? So be careful that you pick the right 3. So I can tell that because it's, it's 1 times 2 plus 1, right? Okay, so it's talking about this 3. Alright, so here we are in, in this tree, and we're going to call max heapify here. Notice again that the assumptions of math, max heapify are met, right? Because the right subtranch, uh, subbranch, or sorry, subtree is a heap, and the left subtree is a heap. Great. So again, uh, by calling max heapify, what's going to happen is that we're going to swap 3 with its biggest child, which is 16, and so the result is going to be. Let me pick something you can see better. So 1 is going to stay the same. Now 16 is going to swap with 3. Okay, so it looks like this now. And everything else is still the same. So I'm just going to recopy the whole tree though. So 6, uh, 10, and here's 19, and here's 2, and here's 4. Okay, all right. So uh, 3 is done. We're going through the repeat loop, right? So now we're down to 2, okay? So we need to look at index 2 in the array. So that's, that's this slot, okay? So it is currently occupied by 6, which is the left child of 1. So they're talking about this 6 here. So I hope you can see that yellow line. All right, this guy. We want to call max heap on him. Um, Alright, so again, notice that the preconditions are satisfied, right? This is a heap. This is a heap because it's just one thing. And as usual in max heapify, we want to swap 6 with its biggest child. So the effect of that is 1, and then this becomes 19, and this becomes 6, and everything else is the same. And this is 10, and this is still 2. This is still 4. This is uh, still 16. This is still 3, and this is still 3. Okay, great. So almost done. Notice now that the whole thing is a heap except for 1, right? The only problem is that 1 is small. It should be big. So let's fix that by, okay, so this is done. And now we do the last, the last time through the repeat loop. We go and we see what's happening here in the first index, and we run max heapify. Right, this is telling us to run max heapify on the root this time, on one. Okay, so now the I think yeah we're we're gonna use we're gonna use the we're gonna have to go two into max heap right because we're gonna swap one and nineteen, but then we're gonna have to use max heapify again to to swap one. Right, okay, so we'll see that when we get there. 
All right, so just a couple more pictures left to draw. So we're here, we call max heap of on this. We swap one with its biggest child, which is 19. Okay, so that, that makes this one, or sorry, 19 goes there now. Uh, 19 and one and 16 and three and three. Okay, and six and 10 and two and four. Okay, so now we're going to use a part of Max Heapify that we haven't had to use so far, which is after you after you do the part of Max Heapify that that swaps that swaps the node with its biggest child, you have to call Max Heapify again on the place that uh, that you swapped with. Okay, which in this case is here. So we're now we're running Max Heapify again on this part. And notice that we need to because it's still not a heap because one is still small and it's still pretty high in the tree. So we run max heapify right here and I'm going to need some more space. Let me erase this uh, magenta tree. All right. And so I'll, I'll do the next step. Oh, yeah, you know, it looks so good there. I'll make it in magenta again. So we run max heapify right here. So that means swap one with its biggest child. Its biggest child has key 10. All right, so we have 19 at the top, and now this has become 10, and this has become one, and everything else is the same. So here is uh, six, and here is two and four, and here is 16, and on the left is three, and on the right is three. All right. And okay, so we called max heapify again on this, but it doesn't do anything. And this is the last thing through. And so now build heap terminates. So let's see if build heap has done its job. We need to just look at this thing and you can kind of, it's a good sanity check to look at it and make sure that it really is a heap. And it is, you can just check in each place the parent is bigger than the child. So it, it's worked, okay, it succeeded in building a heap. And then if we wanted to, we could translate, we could translate this back into, into, into the array. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I'm just going to do it. Um, so you can just read them off like this. So it goes 19, 10, 16, and I'm going to go down here, 6, 1, 3, 3, 2, 4. Okay. All right. So that's the result. And that's all we had to do, right? Okay, that's all we had to do. Great. So it wasn't too hard, I hope. And that's the end of the practice quiz.